Welcome back to Booze and Rocks. My name is David Edwards. And today I'm gonna to use some bartender's cocaine, AKA nutmeg, and some cognac to make this, the Brandy Alexander. But is it any good? Let's find out. Let's talk about the Brandy Alexander. It's got some unusual history. Well, not really unusual when you think about cocktails because there's multiple theories about where it came from and who it's named after. The first is that in 1922 in London, it came to us during the wedding of Princess Mary to Viscount LaSalle. Now, another theory is that it was named after Alexander Walcott, who is a famous drama critic at the time. But still, there's another theory that it actually is named after Tsar Alexander II of Russia, obviously before the October Revolution. But who we're pretty sure it comes from is Troy Alexander. Now, Troy, worked at the rectors and he was tasked with creating a white drink for a celebration. Now this celebration was in awe of creating Phoebe Snow. Phoebe Snow, of course, was a cartoon character that was used to advertise clean burning coal in the Lackawanna and Delaware and Western Railroad. So you know what? Let's get into this white drink. First thing we need is our shaking glass. Now we do need a little bit of creme de cacao. Now I've seen multiple recipes that use a dark creme de cacao or a white creme de cacao. Whatever you happen to have is what you should use because you know what? Where I live, I can't get it. I could make it, but this is after all cocktails for you. So you need one ounce or 30 milliliters. Next, we need a little bit of brandy. And what I have is some Hennessy brandy. It's a VS or very special brandy. <coughs> Uh, you know what, it's really, really good. We need an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. Next thing we need is some heavy cream. Now you could use half and half if you wanted. I prefer a whipping cream, it gives me a consistent 35% and it gives it a little bit of a creamier texture to myself. And we need one ounce of that or 30 milliliters. Now I have seen in some recipes where they'll use an egg white. And when I say that, I'm talking about Difford's Guide. And I know that Martha Stewart uses Kahlua in hers. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna add some ice and we're going to shake this for 10 to 20 seconds. I'm struggling apparently, as you can tell. Whoa, that was close. That was really close. Did you see that? Whole thing nearly came apart on me. But that's okay, I don't need that anymore. Let me just clean my hand off for a second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a coupe glass just because I like it, it's nice and fancy. You could use whatever type of glass you want. But I'm going to double strain this just to make sure that I keep out any ice chunks that there may have broken apart in the shaking process. Look at that, it's beautiful. But we're not done. We're going to garnish this with a little bit of bartender's cocaine as I like to call it, nutmeg. So take your microplane and just give it a basic little uh, scrape. And get your desired amount that you want. I'm having problems today. Let's see how it smells. Smells good. The very first thing you get off this is definitely the nutmeg. You get hints of chocolate. Oh, that is good. You get the brandy, you get a little bit of chocolate. The cream holds together really, really well. And when you add in the nutmeg, it just really makes it rock solid. Oh yeah. Mm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description below. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. And you know what? If you like awesome brand cocktails, hit the thumbs up button. 
and we'll see you next time. Now the Brandy Alexander was originally thought to have been invented, uh, and of course that happened at London. But around the same time, the christening of Phoebe. Now, Phoebe, 